Are you struggling with acne and wondering whether your diet is having a negative impact on your skin? The answer is yes, but which ones are the worst foods? My name is Linda Vizzoli. I'm a nutritional therapist and health coach specializing in women's health. And in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the worst foods for acne and what to eat instead. Stay tuned till the end where I share with you my favorite foods to include for radiant, blemish-free skin. Acne is the term used for the skin condition which causes pimples. These can be in the form of blackheads or whiteheads, you know, the type that we stand in the mirror squeezing to smithereens. Or it could also be cystic acne, where cysts appear underneath the surface of the skin. Now, whilst acne is common and doesn't pose immediate health risks, it can still cause scarring in the long run. And let's face it, blemish-free, glowing skin can not only boost our confidence, but is also a sign of overall health. Now, our digestive and hormonal health are directly linked to our skin health, so ensuring we're eating a health-promoting diet will have an impact on our skin health too. If we're not breaking down our food properly, for example, this can cause bacterial overgrowth in our intestine, which can have a negative impact on our skin. Sluggish digestion, such as irregular bowel movements, can also cause the accumulation and reabsorption of toxins or excess hormones from the colon into our bloodstream, which can then surface on our skin as pimples. Hormonal imbalances can cause a rise in androgen levels. This is a type of hormone which can increase the production of oil in our skin, which interacts with bacteria on the pores of our skin and can cause acne. These androgens can also be converted to estrogen in the body, causing imbalances in estrogen and progesterone levels throughout our cycles, which has a whole host of side effects. Now check out our other video on signs of hormonal imbalance and what you can do about it. We'll pop a link in the description below. So let's take a look at some foods you might wish to avoid if you are struggling with acne. Vegetable oils and trans fats. Now you may think that the term vegetable oil implies a healthy oil, right? After all, aren't vegetables healthy? Well, yes, they are, but vegetable oils are usually derived from seeds, such as sunflower seed, rape seed, cotton seed, as well as vegetables such as soybean and corn. These oils have a chemical structure which makes them very delicate and easily prone to oxidation and rancidity, especially when heated or even when exposed to light and air. When we ingest these oils, they can cause inflammation in the body, which can worsen the severity of acne. They have also been shown to be a thyroid suppressant, causing weight gain as well as having an estrogenic effect on the body. Their impact on our hormones can also impact the occurrence of hormonal acne, that is, pimples usually found along the chin and jawline or appearing in the second half of your cycle. Now, these types of fats are found in a lot of packaged and processed foods, fried foods, oven chips, crisps, mayonnaise, but even in foods marketed as healthy such as hummus and plant milks. So ensure you're always reading the label. If you're eating takeaway food or eating out at a restaurant, you'll most likely also be consuming these oils. So you may want to rethink those outings and cook more at home. Replace these oils with oils such as olive oil for dressing or coconut oil for cooking. Including more healthy fats in the diet such as avocado, ghee and oily fish such as salmon, sardines and mackerel will also help nourish the skin from the inside out for a healthy glow. Refined carbohydrates. Now when I talk about refined carbohydrates, I'm referring to foods such as white bread, white pasta, crackers, biscuits, cakes, donuts, candy bars, boxed cereals, and foods made with refined flour products. Now eating refined foods will cause our blood sugar to spike and then crash, wreaking havoc on our hormones and cause inflammation due to the chronic release of cortisol to balance things out. Swap out refined carbohydrates with whole food versions. So for example, root vegetables and squashes instead of pastas and white rice. Oatmeal or eggs with fruit instead of boxed sugary cereal. If consuming grains, opt for more whole grain varieties and combine them with protein and good quality fats to keep blood sugar spikes at bay. 
I'm sorry, but whilst we're talking about refined carbohydrates, I'm gonna have to throw alcohol in the mix too, as it does act like a sugar in the body, causing blood sugar imbalances, which in turn will impact our hormones and cause breakouts during our cycle. On top of sending us on a hormonal roller coaster, alcohol also burdens the liver, which is so busy detoxifying the alcohol out of our system that it has no time to detoxify other substances or carry out its many functions. Poor detoxification equals blemished skin. So let's help our liver along by reconsidering our alcohol consumption and replacing it with herbal teas, mineral water infused with fresh fruit, or even a little kombucha for some extra probiotic intake. Processed foods. Now these are foods which have been processed and are no longer close to their natural state. Think of ready meals, frozen pizzas, hot dogs, rainbow colored desserts and sweets, candy bars, fizzy drinks and diet sodas, crisps, fried snacks, powdered meal replacements, and any food with an ingredient list as long as your arm or containing artificial sweeteners or lots of unpronounceable additives. Now these foods tend to be very high in refined carbohydrates and low in high quality protein. They're often loaded with sugar or sweeteners or table salt and will most likely contain trans fats or cheap vegetable oils. Altogether, a lethal combination for your skin and with time, this will show. Most of these foods are high in calories, but low in the nutrients that the body needs. And without enough vitamins and minerals, the body will prioritize it, its processes of survival, like breathing or having your heart pumping, versus non-essential processes such as digestion, reproduction, and you guessed it, supple skin, hair, and nails. So if you're living on processed convenience foods and noticing a worsening in your skin condition, it's time to switch to a real food diet containing high quality protein, such as wild caught fish and seafood, eggs, organic grass fed meat and raw dairy if tolerated, vitamin and mineral rich fruits and vegetables, properly prepared grains and legumes, healthy fats and good quality sea salt. Any food you are sensitive to. Acne could be considered an inflammatory disease, and when we consume foods we are sensitive to, our immune system mounts an inflammatory response which could be causing these breakouts. So identifying foods which trigger or aggravate your acne is key, and these may be different from person to person. A lot of people seem to correlate dairy consumption with acne flares, especially non-fermented dairy such as cow's milk. This could be down to the type of dairy they're consuming or the state of their gut health. You may find that consuming either raw goat milk or fermented dairy does not negatively impact your skin due to its probiotic properties, but this will vary from person to person. Chocolate seems to be another common trigger food for people struggling with acne, as well as red meat, fried foods, and alcohol, which we spoke about earlier. Keep a food diary for a few weeks to identify any food triggers or work with a nutritionist to find out a tailored nutrition plan for you and potentially coach you through an elimination diet. Okay, so we've looked at which foods are the most likely culprits when it comes to acne and which foods to replace them with. Now, as promised, here are my top foods to consume if you want blemish-free skin. My number one top food for acne-prone skin is any food high in vitamin A, specifically retinol. Vitamin A is a very important nutrient for the skin and helps to promote its healing. It prevents the formation of pimples and promotes the skin's natural hydration, all of which will give the skin a healthy glow. Some of the most common creams prescribed for acne-prone skin contain synthetic versions of retinol, as well as a host of side effects. So by eating preformed vitamin A-rich foods, you're giving the body what it needs to build healthy skin. You can find retinol in foods such as liver and cod liver oil, oily fish such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, egg yolks, and high quality raw dairy products if tolerated. Eating beta carotene rich foods such as carrots, pumpkins, squashes, sweet potatoes, and red pepper can also be a great idea as they will be converted in the body into retinol too. Brewer's yeast is another one of my favorite foods for acne. It is very high in chromium, which is a nutrient that helps to regulate blood sugar. Its effects in improving insulin and glucose tolerance have been studied and shown to improve the complexion of people with acne. 
It is also very high in B vitamins, which are important for energy production and for helping cell turnover. You can take brewer's yeast in powder form, sprinkled over food. I like to mix it in soups and stews or sprinkled over salads. Just a quick note, it should be avoided by people with yeast intolerance. Finally, I would like to mention wild-caught fish and seafood, such as oysters, crab, prawns, and mussels. Fish and seafood is high in zinc, a very important nutrient for building keratin and the production of collagen. Zinc is also important for the integrity of the gut lining and for hormonal health. On top of zinc, fish and seafood is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids and acne-fighting nutrients and antioxidants such as vitamin D and A. So there you have it. Which foods to avoid if you're struggling with acne and what to replace them with? Were any of these surprising to you? When dealing with skin issues, it is important to also focus on your digestive, liver and hormonal health by looking at your diet and lifestyle choices, especially stress. Let us know if you have a question or feedback in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our future episodes. Until next time, stay beautiful.